Hello, in this video, I'm taking a look at how we can add WordPress search to our Beaver Builder layouts or templates to use when replacing our theme headers. Now, I've talked about this in other videos and on this document, I include for other ways in which you can use Beaver Builder layouts to replace your theme headers, and they are here. But in this particular case, I'm using the Beaver Thema plugin to replace this header and this document is on my Beaver Thema live demo site over at thema.beaverjunction.com and here is what the home page looks like. It's a site that I've set up so you can create a copy of this site and log in and test out Beaver Thema for yourself along with some other plugins and some examples that I've set up. And the example we're looking at today is under examples and it's this one theme headers with search. So as you can see here, this is what the theme header looks like throughout the rest of the site. And you can see I've replaced it on this particular page using Thema. Now this video is largely for Beaver Builder theme users because I'm showing you how you can take the Beaver Builder themes icon search, which looks like this, and use it in replacement headers. But also I'm going to talk a little bit about some other methods if you're using another theme. But this is a pretty simple thing to do. I needed it recently on a client site and I did a Google search and I stumbled upon an old legacy Beaver forum article where Ben from their support team had added a little bit of code, which I'm using here. It's a bit of PHP and what it does is it takes the themes now search and turns it into a short code, which you can then add wherever you like to your theme and it will show up. This bit here could be changed if you don't want it to be BB underscore search, but with short codes, you need to make sure that they're included in the square brackets like this. You would need to get rid of the asterisks here. I only put this in to stop the icon showing up. And that's pretty much all you need to get this working apart from as you can see here, you do need to go to the customizer and to the header, to the nav layout and check that your nav search icon is enabled else otherwise it wouldn't show. And you also need to make sure that this bit of PHP has been added to your Beaver Builder child themes functions PHP file. Now, best practice is generally to add this to the file and then FTP it to your server in case you break things and then you've got access to your files. But if you're fairly confident that this isn't going to break things, that you're not going to leave off the last semicolon, which definitely does break stuff, you can add it to the back end by going to appearance to the editor and making sure on the right hand side that you selected the right template functions PHP and you can add that there and that's pretty much it from there on you can add this where you like now a logical place might be to add it to a HTML module or a text module alongside your beaver builder menus but in this case I actually added it to the menu itself and I took a screenshot so I can show you here that I went to appearance to menus and selected custom links where I put the URL as a hashtag because we're not linking to anywhere and place the short code here in the navigation label. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. Now there was just one last job to do and it'd probably be different for you depending on how you use it. I just needed to add a little bit of CSS to make sure the positioning was right. But I've included this here so you can use these same selectors and maybe adjust some of these settings here until you get it right. The first problem I had that the icon wasn't quite lining up with the text so I added a bit of padding here and that moved it. There were different ways you could do it but padding kind of worked for me to position it there and I also found that the position of the drop down form was actually going over the top of the text for the nav so I added some margin top here of 20 pixels and that made sure that it fell below. Of course, you could drop it a bit lower if you like. And if you're logging into this and you want to see that for yourself, this is my first outing for Beaver Builder 2.0, which I love. So we are in preview mode. So if I press P now, we bring back the page builder dialog. And I love this short cut here. If I go Control Y, 
it takes me to the place where I can add my page CSS. Now, you're not likely to be wanting to add this kind of CSS because usually with headers, it's more global. You probably add this CSS to your styles.css file in your child theme or maybe in the customizer or perhaps in your global settings for Beaver Builder. But here, I've just added it to the page so you can play around with this as you like. So that's where I've added it. Okay, let me save that. I think that pretty much covers that. And I'll move on to another method, a really simple method. Let me press P so we can close this off. Perhaps if you're new to WordPress or Beaver Builder, you didn't know that you can do this, but this is something that will work for all themes. You can use the WordPress search widget and add that here. I'm gonna press P again so we can bring the box up. And as you can see, I'm in here. If you go to your modules and go to your groups, you'll see that under WordPress widgets, you've got all of these options. Now, if you're not seeing this, it means that you need to turn them on in your page builder settings. But otherwise, you'll find it here under search and you can just drag that in and it will show and it doesn't matter what theme you're using it on. The styling may vary because the individual themes will add styling to the search widget. So you could find that you've got maybe a little icon in here as you do on some. But otherwise, it will work on all. And in this case, all I needed to do to change that was just to add a little bit more margin here just to line this up with the text. So that is that method, I'll press P again. You could also go and test out whether you can use a short code as well on your theme as we're doing on this one. I know with Generate Press, you can turn their menu, which includes their search, into a short code, which you can add into your replacement menu. I'm not sure about the other ones. Finally, I just want to cover a premium plugin that I haven't talked about before and it seemed like a perfect opportunity. I'm now trying to set up a demo site for the Beaver World plugins. Chimoy, who's in the Beaver Builder Facebook group, a lot of time helping people and, and wowing us with lots of new things. He keeps building up lots of new modules, plugins and themes. And as so far, I've not tested them out. So I set up a live demo site, but one of his modules is called the toggle search for module. So this is something you would have to pay for. Here on my demo site, I've set up some examples here. I'm not gonna open this up to show you, but you can customize your icon types, colors, backgrounds, text field, length, direction, animations, speed, backgrounds, focus, color, and text size and color here. Now you'll see what I mean here. This is the animation and you can see there's the focus. I've set up some other examples here. It's really easy to just style these as you like. You can put some background here and change the colors there. Change your, it's not often you'd probably want to do that, but you could change your icon here. And I also added, if you're gonna use this, a bit of custom CSS, because a couple of things that aren't added, I wanted to add a little bit of border to it. So I worked out when you open the animation here, you can add these selectors here and put a bit of border on it. It doesn't work when you're closing it, but you barely see that. And also I wanted to try with a normal icon with a bit of background to put some border radius to make that rounded. So I've added that here if you want to use that to style it. And also this last bit here, I put a bit of margin left here you could do it right if you're facing the other way to just give this some distance here so that is another alternative it's a paid one but if you are thinking about investing in his i bought the pro plus pack it's got a couple of themes in there a whole bunch of plugins and the growing number of modules that is brought in. I particularly like off canvas menus that he's using. And in amongst those is the toggle search form here. Now I notice his prices are going up. I expect this is gonna happen maybe more often as he keeps adding to the pro package and adding more value to it. But presently it's at $99 for unlimited sites for lifetime updates. Now you only need to pay some more money if you want some support. 
and probably you will not need this. I hope to do a few more videos on his once I've got my live demo site set up with more examples of his work. Anyway, sorry about sort of the, the last moment pitch, but I, as I say, I'm still testing this out at the moment, so I, I guess I can't 100% recommend this as a module to buy, but so far I'm really happy with what I've tested out. It seems to work really well. There's some really inventive stuff there. So definitely one to probably check out. And of course, I've included my affiliate link if you want to buy from me. But if you don't, that's perfectly fine as well. Anyway, sorry about the last minute sales on this one. I hope still that this video has been useful to you. If it was, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then please subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.